I think after reading and reading and listening to that's it. Times, yeah. yeah, that's it. You just have to learn them. Collocations, man. It's yeah. all about collocations. It's so important for these exams, and they're so specific. They're so specific, and especially the prepositions. They are yeah. difficult. Yeah, that is a is a is a topic uh, uh, which I like, which <laughs> I like too. Yeah. So it's not my 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 boring part of English. What is the most boring part of English? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I enjoy. Um, so I like phrasal verbs. Yeah. I like to to learn and to know as much as possible. Preposition is my favorite topic as well. Maybe the writing part. Maybe. But I like write as, uh, as well, so I don't know. Writing I is a... In, in my my boring, boring or boring part? Or the, the, the part who bother me most study or the part who bore me more? You could say the part which bores me most. Exactly. The part which bores me most is the reading part. The reading. But not because I don't like um, to read, especially the opposite. Because it's not fair, because that exercise, in um, from my point of view, this part in the exam, at the exam, don't reflect what I understand. So uh, it could happen. I understand all the the sent all the text and hundred percent the meaning, and I can fail the the answer the questions because sometimes are a tricky tricky questions. And for example, when you 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 must uh, add some sentences, some paragraphs, uh, it's it's a it's a bit uh, weird, strange. So there are lots of possibilities. And I uh, when I uh, when I do this part, sometimes I disagree of the answer because. From from my point of view, the the the, the text is another another thing. So so the problem is not the reading part, but the questions at the exam or in the exam. Is in the exam at the exam? In the exam. In in the exam. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes they deliberately make questions a bit a bit difficult and a bit ambiguous. Yeah. The the thing with the when you have to put a sentence or a paragraph into a text, the most useful thing to do with that, I think, is to look at the pronouns. So look at words like him or he or she or this or these as well, because if there's, yeah, you can, you can see, is the person before, is it a man or are they talking about a man? Yeah. And if they are talking about a man, then you know that in your writing it says him, so it could could relate to that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or this, and th and if they're talking about lots of things in the paragraph before, where well, you know it's not this, it would have to be these. So the pronouns are a big big thing to help with that part, I think. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I know what you mean. Also, in the listening, sometimes it's they deliberately make it difficult. Yeah. 